I am a black girl raised in a white world because, well, my mother didn't think being black was enough. When your skin is dark and your hair is coarse, let's just say it's better to be well-spoken. My cousins grew up on the other side of the tracks, and although we shared the same blood, I always felt different. Them, Carl Kanai, Tims, and Biggie, me, Jinkos, Vans, and Simple Plan. Like, like the Montessori school, my mother fought to get me and somehow lightened the tone of my skin. But I've always been proud of my education. Even when my cousins used it as a way to break me down, teased me for the way I pronounced every syllable, mocked me because when I walked, my booty failed to jiggle, but taught me to throw them hands by playing monkey in the middle. See, little did I know those long weekends at auntie's house would strengthen my backbone, create a dynamic inside me all its own. I speak in complete sentences and know when to use broken English. I have a small waist and not much shape to my fully developed body, my cocoa complexion, the envy of their porcelain reflections. I trace my lineage back to my great grandmother on my mother's side. She calls me punky, prefers to live alone. As the sun glistens off the silver speckles in her hair, I'm reminded that she is my last connection to the roots of our family tree, the history of our people ripped away and replaced by the false idol of a white god. They taught us to fear what they did not understand, took us from our land and forced our babies to be birthed and raised in an environment with no culture of their own. Little black children grew up never being told of the royalty they derive from. Our ancestors were kings and queens, but they won't teach you that in American history. See, I call Alaska my home, whitewashed by the snow, and my mother's dream to raise me outside of the ghetto. My best friends were suburban white kids. Is this what you call black privilege? Lately, I've become ashamed of this, crossed oceans to find what my namesake is, and even then, living on those beautiful Hawaiian islands, no more life in the drift of the trade winds, finally deciding to let my feet sink into the soil as my grandmother's hair coils down my shoulders. Every year I grow older, I find myself wanting to plant roots, water my seed. I am emerging, birthing the most divine version of myself. I am a black girl claiming my place in this world and I refuse to be ashamed, hide in the shadows, or straighten my curls. I rarely wear makeup, keep my hair natural, don't know what the actual I am doing, but still, I be doing it in a life of death hunt for my lineage, frantically combing my mother's mind to find the truth she left behind, lost memories from another lifetime, hidden traces in her bloodline. This is not a facade. The blood running through my veins descends from the queen of all queens and god of all gods. I am a black girl. <laughs>